All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys some new items that I picked up before I change and start off my day. I hope you guys are doing great. So I'm going to start by showing you guys some things that I got from my outfit online. I also did receive some PR, so I'll show you guys that as well. So from my outfit online, I bought the new Valentine's Day collection. I've been obsessed with pink. I feel like I always say that, but I go through a stage where like I overly like obsessed with the color. So I picked up this rib crew neck top and I really love the material. If you guys have never heard from my outfit online, they have some really good basics collection. I feel like before they had some good clothing, but now they know exactly what they're doing. Their clothing is really good. So yeah, I picked up this top. And then I picked up the matching bottoms to go with it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Beautiful color. It has the logo. I think this one is still in stock. So I will link it below for you guys. But yeah, I love my outfit online. The quality, everything is just bomb. Okay, so also in the pink theme, I told you guys I have an obsession with the color pink. I picked up a pair of pajamas from Skims. Um, I got them in a size medium in case you guys care and I love the way they feel So this is called the skim sleep Set because they have different types highly recommend you get you a pair of some skims pajamas the quality of skims honestly Is worth it. It just feels so soft and it just makes me feel super girly and feminine and like just you know comfortable into some pr that i got thank you so much to everybody who does support me because without any of you guys i would have not received like absolutely nothing so i just wanted to say thank you um so i got some huda beauty pr so they sent over the pink collection which again i feel like we're all obsessed with pink it comes with the powder the color corrector i have used this one before the color corrector in the shade pink pomelo and it's really good i like the way it makes my under eyes just look really brighter but not too crazy like it's a really good color so this is the shade you see it's not too pink you see this shade it's just not too pink it's just like the perfect shade and huda beauty products are always really good ignore my hands you guys they're super super dry right now i do have eczema and i get it on my hands too so yeah so this is the shade peach so yeah they're the new color correctors and then they also release a new powder and the press powder as well i'll have to try it and see if i'm team peach or team pink i'm probably team pink but we'll see makeup forever also sent over their new foundation this is called the hd skin hydra glow foundation Thank you so much to Makeup Forever. Thank you so much to Huda Beauty. Thank you so much to any brand. Honestly, that sent me anything. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, this is their new foundation that is supposed to give you 24-hour hydration. I think this color is going to be a really good match in the shade 2Y32. They finally released body care, and I'm obsessed with anything body care related at the moment. She has a hand lotion, a body spray, a body wash and then this relaxing pen which you know what i need this like so, yeah, i'm definitely bringing this with me everywhere in my purse i have like a little emergency kit but yeah guys i'm gonna get ready with you guys so we can have a little chit chat and i can get ready for my day i do need to do a couple of things today so yeah let's go So I know someone out there is probably mad at me that I haven't been consistent at all. Um, you guys, we have a lot to talk about. I definitely have been prioritizing, you know, myself. I've been prioritizing setting routines and being with my family. So yeah, girl, I feel like I'm going to sit here and just talk and I'll do my makeup. So let me do my makeup. Every single time I do my makeup, I always apply my eye drops from Lumify. Highly recommend them. I've been in a really great mood lately, so I wanted to just share all the positive vibes. You guys know me. I hate uploading when I'm not feeling like my best. I don't like projecting that energy into any of you guys, you know? So yeah, I am back. I feel like I always say that, but I'm honestly really am back. Um, I don't even know, you guys. Time just goes by super fast, you know? I feel like I upload and then boom, two months passes by. I'm not trying to do that anymore this year. I really want to be consistent and, you know, 
talk to you guys on a weekly basis and not be that friend that disappears and then comes back you know i don't like doing that so thank you so much for everybody who has been sending me messages you know wondering where i am and just being super sweet to me i really really appreciate all of you guys i did pick up some new makeup from sephora so i do want to try that out with you guys i also did pick up the skin by kim makeup so i did apply my moisturizer i always use the believe aqua bomb so i'm gonna start with applying this shade all over my eyes and just do my signature matte eye maybe i can try all the new elf makeup because i did pick it up it was at my local target so if you guys want to see like my thoughts on all the new elf makeup because elf really has stepped it up the past like year let me know let's do this one and just use it as like a wing liner but i'm not even gonna try to tell you guys the name because i know i cannot say it and i'm not trying to humiliate myself but yeah i got a new eyelash curler and i highly recommend y'all invest in an eyelash curler because it really makes a difference and i don't even have good lashes and i feel like an eyelash curler really helps it looked like I have good lashes. Of course, y'all know me. I had to pick up some other lip products as well. So we will try that in a little bit. I always like to go in with my Glow Recipe Primer first. And then I go in with my Elf Primer. I feel like for like the past six months, I've been trying to like lose weight and get back to like my actual like weight. I hate talking about stuff like this because I don't want anyone to get triggered. So if you get triggered with weight and anything like that, make sure you skip through this part. But yeah, I've been really focusing on, you know, what I put into my body, not only mentally, you know, but also physically and really trying to be careful with what I eat. I feel like a year and a half ago, I got a birth control and when that happened, my whole like body just like went really like, I don't even know, I mean like in shot, I was like inflated. And I think it was because of the birth control because I wasn't eating that, that bad, but I was eating, you know, not the best. So, you know, I feel like it was half and half, but while I was on birth control, nothing ever like happened to me. It was when I got out of birth control, that's when I got like all the weight gain. A lot of women say, weight gain happens when they get on birth control but for me it was the opposite it was when i got out of it i did lose already 19 pounds which i know sounds crazy but i'm telling you guys my body was very bloated like you can tell when i gain weight because of my face and also like right here it just stays around this area i remember just feeling super insecure and wanting to do something about it so if you guys are feeling like that right now honestly it does take time weight loss and being healthy is a journey you know and you shouldn't just see it as losing weight because you're gonna gain it right back and honestly the most important thing is your health like it's super super important to you know watch your health and take care of your body that's the most important thing um i've been using this right here my tumbler that i got from amazon i will link it below i want to do like an amazon favorites because i've been loving lots of things from amazon but yeah this right here holds a lot of water it keeps it cold and you remember to drink your water i know it's very easy to obsess over your weight which is why i'm telling you focus on bettering your ingredients you know just eating healthier foods once you focus on that the weight will just come off especially if you do a lot of walking you don't even have to like run or do anything like that you can start as simple as walking and that will help out a lot that's what i did and also helped out a lot for me on bettering my mood i just realized i was in a better mood i was more motivated and you know, I just felt a lot happier. That is like my goal for 2024 is just to be in a better mood, happy, motivated, you know, and to pick myself up when I have those rough days. And I want you all to know if you have rough days, you are not alone. You know, we all have them. And I want my channel to show you guys and to be proof of that no matter what you're going through in life, you can pick yourself up and you can keep going no matter where you're at in life. We can accomplish our dreams. This is the second time I do this makeup look and I really liked it last time I did it. I have a Valentine's like self-care video that I filmed for you guys as well. So that should be coming up right after this one. I'm basically doing the viral no foundation makeup look. And honestly, this looks so good. I never thought I wasn't gonna be able to wear no foundation, but this method makes it look like I have 
like the full coverage but it still looks really radiant and natural all right so that is what the skin is looking like i am gonna go in with the lighter shade now of the hourglass concealer so i can highlight my skin i see a hair on my face i just do not know where it's at but i see it i just don't see it like in the mirror you guys are probably thinking i'm crazy but anyways i'm gonna go in with my dew blush from say this is in the shade baby you guys i saw this cute idea on instagram of making like a cute galentine's basket so i'm gonna try to do that today let's see if target has everything that i need I got my first facial i think it was in january and honestly you guys i didn't see like that much of a difference i just noticed my skin was breaking out and then afterwards i feel like it was a little bit more glowy but for the price i feel like skincare it's better maybe that's just like the brokenness inside of me knowing i can do it you guys know i love to do like my own nails my own hair so that could just be that but you know i was expecting my skin to be super super glowy and it wasn't that maybe i just have to get tons of facials for it to happen this is one of my favorite steps that i feel like really pull the makeup look together just applying a little bit more eyeshadow right here on the nose to connect it to your nose contour and also underneath the eyes it's just like the little things that make your makeup like connect you guys remember when i used to wear super like crazy lashes i don't think i'll ever be doing that again i feel like little lashes like this even though these are still big but you know what I mean. More like lighter, fluffier lashes just enhance my eye shape a lot better. Because the other lashes just make them look a little bit more like droopy, you know? This is another step I like to do for my makeup to really like mix in together. I like to go in with my Wet n Wild. This is the Clarifying Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. This is a really good like hidden gem at the drugstore. I like to go in with my Powder Puff and really brighten up right here it reminds me of the charlotte tilbury one just a little bit more lighter than that one and then also to set my brows which makes them look like more realistic you know like they're mine okay. and by the way i did use the doe eyelash glue i've really been liking this eyelash glue lately so i did tell you i picked up the new skin by kim lip liner and lipstick so i did get the shade nude 13 and i also got the shade nude 8 i think nude 8 or something like that nude 8 is comparable to the kkw nude 2 lip pencil it is what they look like swatch beautiful liners beautiful colors let me see if i can find my other kkw lip liners because i still have them you guys i put all the kkw lip liners in a little bag so i don't lose them but then i lost the bag so i need to look for it and then i'll do like a comparison or something i really like the lip liners they're creamy i love the colors i will link them below for you guys and then i also picked up the soft matte in the shade one and also two this is another product i've really been loving it's the hourglass setting spray it's like the morphe setting mist it reminds me of that one just a little bit more like airbrush so this is what my hair looks like from yesterday i've been trying to just use a blow dryer to do my hair and not use the straightener as much but honestly, you guys, I feel like I'm a straight hair kind of girl. I might add a gloss only because my lips feel a little bit dry. So let me add a lip gloss. I just love glossy lips. Yeah. You see, I just feel like this is more like me. So this is the final look right here. This is what my hair looks like from the night before. I've been trying to not straighten my hair as much and just like blow dry it. 
but honestly i feel like i'm a straight hair kind of girl i just love straight hair on me but yeah girl this is the final makeup look i absolutely love it it's like the perfect everyday soft glam type of makeup look um if you guys want to see more makeup videos let me know hit me a hannibal um and i'll make sure to do them for you guys and this is my two-piece set by the way from amazon um i told you guys i've been finding lots of cute things from amazon that just motivate me as well yeah that's one thing about matching sets that i noticed they help set the tone for the day i used to just stay on my pajamas if i were to stay at home but ever since i started just you know changing out of my pajamas putting on some regular clothes it just makes me be more productive if that makes sense but yeah girl i'm gonna stop talking and head to target i'm gonna try and find all the things to make my friend that galentine's basket and i also need conditioner and just other things so let's go to target i don't know if you guys have seen all like the funny reviews of this product or i think it's like the whole scent i have no idea but they've been saying that it attracts spiders i don't know where they got that from but that's low-key kind of funny so i think i'm gonna apply some before i leave and then i'll also use their new body spray okay so this is the lotion let me smell it this is the body butter you see, it just smells really good. It smells clean, like floral, but with a hint of vanilla. I really like this scent. So I picked up that, and then I also picked up the body spray. Let's see. I don't know about you, but I really like this scent. If you guys want like a nice, feminine, soft scent, get you this collection. you guys this whole collection right here at target reminds me a lot of the scheme smoothing collection like the material reminds me so much of it i think i'm gonna try something let's see they only have this left but it's in a size medium i mean a size large so i'm gonna see if they sell it online so i can get me my correct size but the material reminds me a lot of yeah. This is like my weak spot. I love looking at the pajamas and loungewear, even though I don't need anything. I ended up taking my lashes off the second I got home. I just couldn't stand them. Um, that's what happens when you don't wear lashes for a long time. I'm about to start editing this video so I can get it up for you guys. I also have another video coming up, which is like a pamper routine. So, you know, in case you're wondering about my nails, the nail color, all of that, I got you guys on the next video. For my lip combo, I ended up just going in with the Skin by Kim lip liner in the shade 8. And then I went in with the... NYX butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie which is one of my favorite ones i always have to like brush my teeth after i'm done eating or have like something minty afterwards so yeah girl i'm gonna show you guys what i end up getting for myself from target i did get the touchland hand sanitizer they're really expensive but i really like the way it looks so i feel like it's worth the price last time i got the lavender one and it lasted me like a month and a half so they actually do last and this one right here it's in the flavor not the flavor in the scent very it's a really good raspberry scent that's what it reminds me of it smells really good i love raspberries and strawberries so and the color pink so i feel like this was perfect for me and then i ended up getting a foot mask from avino these are really good and then the last thing i got for myself is the eva nyc the hair mask if you guys haven't tried this hair mask and you're looking for an affordable deep conditioning hair mask i highly recommend this one not only does it smell really good but it also makes your hair super shiny and manageable so i highly recommend this hair mask you can also get it at ulta i know target ulta has it so 
I just love the smell and I love this brand. The rest of the stuff I got is for gifts. So I'm going to show you guys how I make a goodie bag for my friend. In case you guys are looking for some last minute ideas, hopefully that helps you out. Basically, I got everything at Target so you can easily just pick it up. So I'm going to end my night by doing that, editing this video. I am redecorating my room. I ended up getting this roses right here from Etsy, which I'm in love with. Um, I was tired of getting myself flowers every single week so i just ended up investing in some fake flowers and they just look really good i also did order a new bed frame and i'm thinking of changing this plan i'm doing like some small changes for 2024 and i'm just gonna go make the goodie bag and i will see you guys on the next video bye guys